welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel I'm Darren and today I'm going to start a cook that's going to go for 48 hours again another long cook and I'm going to do a chuck roast Got a couple chuck roasts the other day on sale and chuck roast is kind of like the top round video I, sh I shot the other day it's uh, a real tough meat normally you usually have to braise it or you gotta cook it for a long time well done to uh, break down the collagen and, and other uh, other tough meat that's in it to make it where you can actually chew it. You gotta cook it in a crock pot for a long time or you gotta braise it on the stove or you gotta smoke it for you know eight or twelve hours to get it to break down and usually gotta cook it well done. But CV allows you to actually cook it more of a medium, medium rare for a longer period of time in a lower temperature and make it pretty much the same uh, tenderness. So we're going to cook this for 48 hours. So this is going to be for dinner Saturday night, but we're throwing it in today at 135 degrees. The timer just went off. It's just now starting to count down. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in and we're going to let it sit here in the bath for 48 hours. And then we'll take it out on Saturday evening and I'm going to show you how we're going to finish it up. We're going to finish it on the uh, Kamado Joe with some smoke and hot and fast. So we'll see you guys in 48 hours. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you, I'm actually, I've got the uh, chuck roast in the water. I've got my rack on top just in case it tries to float away. But I've also filled the uh, container up pretty good. It's almost to the, about an inch before getting to the top. The reason I did that is it's a 48 hour cook. It's pretty long. Um, it will lose a little bit of water, but I will keep an eye on it. But just to show you, I just threw the roast in, so it did drop the water temperature down a little bit to 130. And, but it will come up since it's frozen. I'm not really too worried about it. It will come back up to 135. The timer will go back off, and then we'll get this thing going. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw my makeshift cover on there that's going to keep the uh, evaporation down and we'll see you guys in 48 hours all right guys I got my fire ready for the chuck roast to go on just uh, got the fire starters all burned out and it's uh, fires getting ready to go real good and I'm gonna throw a piece of oak wood on for some smoke I'm just gonna put it on the one side because that's the side I'm gonna have the chuck roast on I'm gonna throw a uh, throw a pan on here with some onions peppers and some mushrooms to make a little bit of a topping for the chuck roast. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my grates on and we'll be having the chuck roast out here real soon. Back. And we're ready to get this uh, chuck roast out of here. It's been sitting here right at 46 and a half hours, so close enough to 48 hours to me. I got the grill all fired up and ready to go and we're going to go ahead and take this out, pat it dry, and then get it on the grill. Okay guys, I'll be right I got back. it all out of the uh, sous vide. And I'm going to pat it dry, just like we always do when we're going to sear something that's been cooking for a long time. It's uh, smelling pretty good. I did save the bag juices. We are going to make a gravy tonight. I'm actually going to make it in this pan with the uh, onions and peppers and mushrooms and I'm going to cook on the grill with the meat. So actually, I'm actually going to get that started. I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there and then we'll throw the well, guys, and here's the fire part of fire and water cooking. We've got the fire going pretty hot. Got that oak over here. That's where the chuck roast is going to go, right over here when, as soon as I get that out here. But I'm going to get this pan in, get the butter melted, and I'm going to put these onions and mushrooms and peppers in. Get them starting to cook real quick. Like I said, I'm going to add that... Uh, I'm going to add the uh, bag juices back to that when that gets cooked up. And I'm going to put a slurry in there, and that's going to be our gravy to pour on top. All right, well, we'll get those the mushrooms and we'll peppers right are all softened up real good. I'm going to go ahead and throw uh, the meat on right here over where that oak was. And then we're going to let that cook for about a minute, two minutes on each side. And then I'm going to throw that... Uh, I'm going to throw those beef juices in there, and I mixed a little bit of red wine, a little Worcestershire, a little beef stock, a little bit of water, a little bit more of the beef rub, some Italian seasoning, and uh, that's about it. And I'm going to, in the slurry. 
the cornstarch, so that's going to thicken that up. So we'll be back in a minute, guys. It's been another minute and a half. Fire's getting back up pretty hot. I'm going to go ahead and flip this roast real quick. I'm going to go ahead and dump this slurry and juices in there. And that should thicken up here. If it gets a little too thick, I might throw a little bit more beef stock in there. It looks like it's going to thicken up pretty good. I'm going to close this up and grab a little bit more beef stock. Yeah, I'm going to add just a little bit more beef stock to that because it's a little, a little too thick for me. And then we're going to give it another minute. All right, guys, we're going to take it off. This is done. Got a nice char to it. Uh, got the gravy all done. It's nice and nice consistency. Got the onions and peppers and mushrooms in it. That's going to go right over the top. Remember, we cooked this at a 135 for 46 and a half hours. So I don't know if you can see that. It's still pretty red inside, but it cuts like butter. I mean, it really, the knife just goes through it like it was hot butter. I'm gonna show you up close just how juicy and nice and medium rare that is. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Hmm. Mix it with a little bit of that gravy. It's real hot, just came off of that fire. Mmm. Mm-mm. Oh. I know you couldn't see me, but that's pretty good. Very tender, very juicy. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting dinner ready and then maybe Spencer will take a bite and tell us how he feels. Well, how is it? Well, you had it with the potatoes. Good. With the gravy? Did you get some of the gravy? Mm. Is it tender? Yeah, tender. How's the gravy? Good. You sure? Mm-hmm. Are you just saying that because I'm your father? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. It's nice and medium rare, nice and tender. I know it makes uh, mm -hmm. very little sense to uh, cook something for 46 hours, but you take a chuck roast and you can make it into a filet. Makes a whole lot of sense to me. How about you, Rachel? No? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on the next cook. Say goodbye. Bye.